going on everyone welcome to the video saturday weekend central park new york city absolutely beautiful weather this is the weather that i love majority of this footage is going to be filmed on the dji pocket 3 which we're filming on right now 4k 60 60 frames nice and smooth 4k because why not really enjoying this camera so far I might take some b-roll shots of the camera with my phone i'll put that up on the screen if i actually do it so sit back relax enjoy the beautiful views of summertime in new york city all right we are going to sheep meadow seven minute walk I'm treating this as a prime lens, a 20 millimeter prime lens. You can zoom on this, but I'd rather just use the joystick to just tilt the gimbal up and down like that. But I have a prime lens for my big camera, but it's because it's so big and heavy and it's the same focal length, 20 millimeters. So I have heard that prime lenses are a different experience. And I got to say it, it's from what I feel so far, less is more with the prime lens. So we can zoom in probably about 1.5 to about 30 millimeters. I haven't really found the need to do that yet. I think this might be Sheep's Meadow. Yeah, the map says we're right at Sheep's Meadow. So now we got to find people. I think I see them over there. Hello. Oh, that's, oh, that's awesome. Oh, is that, cool. Is that a camera? Yeah. Wait, that's so cool. Really cool. It's cool. What's, What's up, man? man? How are you? Tom. It's Tom? Yeah. Holly, good to meet you. Yeah, I saw you on the, uh, on his page. Hello. What's up? Hey. <laughs> Hello. I'm sure Hello. here. Yeah. Oh shoot, you do. How are you? Good, good. good. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you. Thank so you're into... Uh, it's Tom Milano from YouTube. Yo. <laughs> Jared, Jared Winslow. That's right. We're all here. Oh shoot. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Dang. <laughs> Creators NYC. Yep. Oh, you said wow. it. Oh my god. Creators NYC meetup. Oh my god. That's cool. Sweet. I'm trying to do this and record at the same time. <laughs> oh shoot. This way. Ready? I have to break it. Chad, you need a cameraman? Oh, there it is. There you go. Oh, that's pretty good. You that's want me to? Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I've already got oh, mine. Thank you. Oh, that, that, how do you like it so far? Uh, I really like it. You like it? Yeah, I'm doing like videos on it, but yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, 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 whoa. Dang. Got it. There you go. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> that's so cool. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. That's awesome. It's so wide too. 20 mil. That's cool. This one, I don't know, it could have been better, but it's still kind of cool. It's still cool. That's something else. Yeah. And that was, that was, that was the first really one. Nice. I like the light of it, oh, yeah. the shadow. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Got it. That was it. Okay. <laughs> I guess you can have your camera back. Cool. Here. Shit. Thank you.
me see. What do you what do you got there? We got there. It is. This thing is worth two dollars. Two dollars, jeez. Two dollar camera. Actually never been over there. It's a really beautiful area what? over there. Really nice, really cool. So I gotta say, using the DJI Pocket 3 in real life has proven to be very, very enjoyable so far. It's just nice to be able to rely on something else that's not your phone, but also not a big, heavy, full-frame camera like I have right now. And when you compare this to a point and shoot, this image is going to look better. It can expose to the sky, for the sky rather, and it can expose for you as well, sort of like a smartphone. But also the stabilization really allows you to not worry about your, not worry about your technique as much and worry more about just being in the moment and we're just focus on getting the shot seeing what you see, the 20 millimeter focal length I really enjoy. And again, connecting up that microphone that I got on my shirt right here, absolutely clutch. The regular audio is really good as well on this thing, but uh, the onboard, the, uh, the mic two audio, of course, is gonna be better. All right, we have to jump cut, I had to cough. All right, I gotta look at a map and see where we're going. All right, I had to refilm this portion because I didn't have the microphone turned on and it's a bit loud over here. So Central Park is really interesting because this is Fifth Avenue right over here to that side of me. And you have right here, when you stand on Fifth Avenue next to Central Park, you have city over here, but then back here you have not city. So it's really interesting. I mean, everyone knows about Central Park you know, everyone knows where Central Park is. If you know what New York City is, you know what Central Park is. This is no, it's not good, this is not new news. It just seems like I've been living under a rock, but it's really nice to be able to, quote, escape the city and not just be around buildings and trains and the hustle and bustle. It's nice in Central Park. It's cooler and temperature-wise in Central Park. And I'm excited that I went there, or I'm not excited. I'm happy that I went to the Crater Meetup today since they had it in Central Park. Creators of NYC, follow them. Meetups every Saturday, if you're in the city, you're local. Come through, it's a good time. Oh, yeah. 